Hi, I'm Nick Kwiatkowski, also known as Q2, and I'm going to show you how to check out and compile the Apache Flex SDK with IntelliJ. For those of you who aren't aware, IntelliJ is an alternative IDE that is used in a similar manner like Adobe's Flash Builder. It's made by a company known as JetBrains. So what are some of the requirements? What you're going to need is the open source Flex SDK 4.6 from Adobe's website. So you're going to have to go to opensource.adobe.com and grab the Flex Source SDK. Um, because at this time of this recording, Adobe has not open sourced all the different components, including the compiler, in order to actually create your own um, SDK from scratch, you're going to have to rely on the compiler that's already available on their website. In order to use it, you're also going to need the Java JDK. Um, this video has been recorded by using, or in conjunction with using, IntelliJ 11.0.1. Uh, it may work with earlier uh, versions of IntelliJ, and it may work again with uh, later versions of IntelliJ, uh, but that's what I'm showing with this particular version. And when you install IntelliJ, you will need the Ant Build plugin for IntelliJ. That's also in addition to the Java uh, perspective, or the Java plugin, as well as the Flex plugin that are installed pretty much by default. So let's get started. Like I said earlier, you will need the, uh, the open source Flex SDK. If you open up a new browser and go to opensource.adobe.com, click on the Flex SDK link, then go to the latest production uh, version of the Flex SDK, which is currently 4.6, and from Adobe's perspective will be the last production uh, SDK and then go to the open source Flex SDK download. It's about a 440 or 164 megabyte download, so I'm not going to download it right now. I already have it uh, pre-staged, but this will be the link that you're going to grab right over here. Of course, when you uh, go to download, you're going to have to agree to it and then download the zip file. The other thing you're going to have to you know, note as well is uh, the source code uh, um, link uh, for the source uh, for SVN. So HTTPS colon slash slash svn.apache.org slash repos slash ASF slash incubator slash flex slash trunk. That is where we're going to be grabbing the source code from. So let's go jump into IntelliJ and start. And we're going to create a new project. For those of you who are new with IntelliJ, a project is very similar to like a, work, uh, a workspace in, um, in Eclipse. So we're going to create a new one. I'm not going to merge this with all the existing stuff I'm really working on. I'm going to create a new project from scratch. Hit next. And I'm going to call this demo SDK. This part here does not matter what you actually name it. And we're also going to create a new, oh, we're going to create a new module in just a moment. And hit finish here. The thing that's important is we're going to make sure we go down to the libraries, sorry, to the project uh, settings tab. Make sure that the project SDK is set to your version of Java that you currently have installed on your computer. Like I said earlier, if you don't have a version of Java, the JDK already installed on your computer, you'll need to grab one from java.com. Uh, currently, um, uh, the JDK that I download is 1.7. I believe Adobe recommends uh, 1.5 or 1.6. Uh, it does, however, work with 1.7. I'm going to hit OK here, and it's going to create a new uh, project for me, like I said, similar to a workspace within uh, the uh, Flash Builder IDE. So after a moment, we can now go and create our first module. Module is like a project within uh, Flash Builder. So we're going to go to a file, new module, and we're going to create a module from scratch. Hit Next. And this first one, we're going to have a Java module. The reason why I'm choosing a Java module is because the compiler, um, all of its source code, when we finally get it, among everything else, is actually going to be in Java. So we're going to go call this SDK. And hit Next. And we don't want to create a uh, source directory because we're going to be importing everything that already exists. And hit Next. We don't need any of these additional add-ons. So now we have our new project, or I should say new module which right now is blank. In a moment you'll see the sdk.imp, which pretty much is the settings directory and settings file for IntelliJ. 
What we're going to do, though, um, right after this, is we're going to go create a frameworks directory, which is actually what's going to end up being uh, brought in using SVN. So the unlike flat, um, unlike Eclipse, IntelliJ actually allows you to have sub-projects or sub-modules within a module. So you can actually have sub-directories that include other compilable directives and things like that. Where Eclipse is very flat, you can't have sub-projects. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new module, and this is going to be for the actual framework uh, source code. When we get the actual compiler source code, we can I actually going to uh, do the same thing for the compiler when we ever get that. So I'm going to go call this frameworks, and it's very important that you actually name it frameworks because this is what's going to match all the ant uh, build files and things like that. We want to make sure we put it within the STK folder, so you're actually going to have to manually go in here and type in SDK slash, and then make sure it's frameworks with an S. And this here can be an action script flash or flex module. Hit next. Again, we do not want to create the source directory. Hit next again. And we can pretty much leave the rest of this as, as the same. I'm going to put this as a 4.6 SDK. What this pretty much does is it actually brings the SDK in as an external library. Not 100% necessary, but this is the way I've uh, done it and it's been very successful. So, just a moment here, it's going to go create the uh, sub module for that. And now we can go and start bringing all of the uh, components in. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the file that we downloaded. Under recent items here, flex SDK. So this is the file that we downloaded from the Adobe website, the open source Adobe website. And I'm going to go and essentially bring all this in, except for the frameworks directory, into that SDK folder. So I'm going to go into the demo SDK, which is in my workspace, if you will. So let's go and copy the flex SDK, everything except for the frameworks directory, into the SDK folder. Again, we're going to go drag and drop over here. Everything's going to go extract for just a couple moments. And there we go. So now we've got our compiler, all of our uh, ant uh, requirements and all that type of stuff, the AS docs and everything else, ready to go. We go in here and now we see everything in here. And the frameworks directory is still empty, except of course for that IML uh, file. So the next step is to check out the frameworks uh, folder from the uh, frameworks SD, uh, from the uh, source control. So we go to the VCS directory, and we're going to go check out from version control, and we're going to go check it out using subversion. I've already added this particular uh, repository here, but the thing to note is it's going to match exactly what's on the web page here, except instead of checking out directly from the trunk, I'm actually going to check out from the frameworks directory. So this here is actually that same svn.apache.org slash repos slash asf slash incubator slash flex slash trunk. If you want to add your own, you just pretty much copy and paste the URL. Hit the plus sign. It's going to go connect, and then I'm going to go check out this frameworks directory. So click out, click on directly on the frameworks. Make sure that you're actually in the frameworks uh, module when you're checking this out. So hit check out. It's going to ask me where I want to extract it to. And I'm going to go and go to my project, make sure I go to the SDK and I go to the frameworks directory. Hit OK. It says I'm going to check out the frameworks directory and where do I want to check it out to? I want to check it out directly into the frameworks directory, so the SDK.frameworks. And I want to use the head and pretty much the infinite, infinite depth. And hit OK. Right now the latest forking version of the uh, Apache repository is 1.6. Uh, in a very short amount of time, it's going to be 1.7, so watch out for that, which will actually add a bunch of new features into this. But for right now, we're going to be using uh, 1.6. So now it's going to start checking out all the files. You can actually see it checking out over here. And click on this, and we can watch all the files be brought into our repository, or from the repository into our file system. This process on my computer with a fairly fast internet connection takes about 10 minutes or so. Um, once this is done, it's going to go index all the files. That takes about 30 seconds or so. And then you should be in pretty good shape. 
Okay, and when the uh, checkout is complete, and get a message like this, you want to create a separate IntelliJ project uh, for the sources we just checked out. No, because we already have another project already set up for it. And it'll ask us a second time. And here we go. Now we have the uh, framework all set and ready to go. So the next step, of course, is to uh, work with uh, Ant. So if you already have the Ant plugin installed, which you should at this point, uh, you'll see on the right-hand side, Ant Build, along the uh, right toolbar. Click on that. It'll bring out the Ant Build uh, view or window. And we're going to go and uh, add this uh, the Ant file, which is one of the things that was uh, downloaded uh, to our project. So we're going to hit the plus sign. And under the frameworks directory, we should see build underscore framework dot XML and hit OK. This here will bring in all the different contexts within Ant. And in a couple moments, we should see the run light up so we can actually run uh, the Ant build script. Hit run right here. And then I usually like to switch over to the text view because it actually makes some sense. And it's going to go and run. So it's actually, right now what it's doing is it's grabbing all the required files that are required for the build, and it's going to go through everything one by one and actually do the compile. Um, when I do my compile, it usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes or so, uh, depending on how fast your computer is, how fast your internet connection is, and things like that. But when you're all done, you should have a fully working uh, copy of the Flex SDK within the lib directory. And that is how you compile the Flex or the Apache Flex SDK and uh, make a working uh, SDK. Thanks and if you wish to uh, see some more visit the Apache website at incubator.apache.org slash flex. Thanks and this is Nick Kwiatkowski and see you soon.